Okay, so PG&E did cut power to, well, anywhere from 1,000 to 800 customers in Northern California. Uh, Yolo County, even. Yeah, Yolo Counties. Uh, Napa, Salado, and Yolo Counties. They cut power to protect you from wildfires. And now there is a wildfire in Yolo County. 125 acres? No. 600. Growing rapidly. Mandatory evacuations. 0% contained. I guess PG&E cutting the power didn't work. So, here it says 1,600 customers. And, well, the company also announced in advance that it may have to cut power to 30,000 customers in Butte, Yuba, Nevada, El Dorado, and Placer counties. Um, conditions ripe for fire. Winds, low humidity, dry vegetation, and heat. So, now, you, you have your power cut off. Does that make sense? Have you not had dry conditions, low humidity, uh, heat, and winds? That, you know, you were perfectly safe and had that power on. You know, the air conditioning, that kept you comfortable. Look, you're not to be comfortable anymore. The years of privileged Americans living their comfortable life, it's over. PG&E, restoring power now. Oh, okay. So you thought PG&E, cutting the power just for a few hours, was good to prevent wildfire? Does that make any sense? No, of course it doesn't. No, they want you to get used to never knowing what the hell is going to be happening. Power is slowly being restored, and guess what? It's going to take 24 hours to restore that power. Why? Okay, well, but they have more planned outages possibly this weekend. Yes, because they want to protect you. But wait, you yeah, got that yellow fire. That started today. <laughs> Unbelievable. Lived here 40 years, seen lots of fires, and we've never had a problem with arcing power lines. Now you do. PG&E has said it. And your government officials have claimed that PG&E is responsible for that campfire uh, that killed 85? Only 85 people? Really? Nah, I think the number is much higher. Here they have a, uh, a tweet of wind. A tweet of wind. So you have wind. Oh, that means turn off the power. Is anything making sense? No. No. I got an email from a subscriber these this were the, the, these pictures the sky over Oroville, California today. Yes, you know my subscriber was wondering are they setting up conditions for wildfires? I don't think she knew about the Yolo County wildfire. But who knows? Possibly. What did the email say? My friend in Oroville sent me these messages. They are shutting off the hospital grid for five days. Shutting off the hospital grid for five days. If you need power for oxygen or other medical equipment, you have to go to the open air stadium where there will be power and sit in the sun on a hundred degree day. Great. Her source, her source, her source, her source relative who talked to PG&E. Okay. So, nothing makes sense. PG&E, you didn't protect your customers because, well, YOLO's got the fire. They got the fire. The CBS 13 News at starts with breaking news. Near the small town of Gwinda, where fire crews are battling the sand fire. It's burned 125 acres so far. Cal Fire says no, the flame. It's 600 now. 
homes are moving at a fast rate and in fact mandatory evacuations are now in place for people who live along County Road 41 because of this quick moving grass fire. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the CBS 13 News. All right, guys. I hope everybody stays safe. All links are below.